Hi guys, welcome back. Um, sporting my South African brand, Holmes, yeah, and having a, a good morning little coffee. Guys, today what I want to talk to you about is I want to talk to you about um, two very important tests that need to be done. Obviously what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get our insulin levels low. Okay, and why are we doing that? Because obviously without the presence of insulin, we are able to fat burn. Okay, so that's important. The next uh, important point, obviously, is that through that process of fat burning, or in order to, to fat burn, we have to create what are called ketone bodies. Okay? These ketone bodies are the cells which are able to convert fat into energy. Okay? So, only once our body starts becoming starved of carbohydrates, does the liver, I mean, excuse me, the, li the liver um, actually say to the body, okay, listen, start producing ketones. We've got no more carbohydrates in the system. We need to switch to drawing energy from fat. So it'll produce ketones. So obviously what these tests are is we want to know when our blood sugar is low enough that we don't have insulin there and that we're maintaining that. And obviously the second one is, is our body producing ketones and have we got enough ketones in our body to be able to say we are in ketosis. In which case that's what we want, that would be effectively day one of our ketogenic program. Okay. Remember, what I'll probably do with you is I'll do a one-week build-up, okay, into preparation, okay, how you prepare, how you cut down, all of that sort of thing, to try and get yourself down to a starting point that is not a shock to the system once off, okay, so we're going to take a week to get into it, and during that process, when we start on day one, our body needs to be in ketosis. Now this is going to differ for everyone, okay? I'm going to be like a live subject, so it may be a bit quicker for you, maybe a bit longer for you, but um, as you go through more and more of these videos, you'll understand that, okay? So the first very important test is we want to test for blood glucose. Blood glucose is going to tell us effectively if there's any insulin in our bodies, right? So what we want is we want our sugar levels to be almost zero, in which case insulin does not need to come in to now monitor how much sugar is in our bloodstream. Okay, And at that point, our liver starts to, manu to manufacture ketones. Okay, So those are the tests. We want to establish that. So there are various products you can Google. Um, I think the best deals you're probably going to get, as usual, are on Amazon. But um, really the devices that we need, you have a device which can do both tests on one device. Okay, So you're talking about being able to measure your glucose and your ketones on a handheld device. This works off a blood sample. So you prick your finger, you put some blood on a sample, you put it into the actual device and then that device will uh, give you a reading. And based on that reading, you will know whether you're in ketosis and you can do a separate blood sample which is going to tell you what your blood sugar level is. Okay. Now, obviously a machine that does this, and they get fancier, you can then upload this information into certain um, monitoring or measuring systems. So if you're going to go for something that has all that functionality, you can expect to pay in excess of $150, call that 120 euros. Um, so that's on the expensive side, okay. However, there are two other ways that one can measure for ketones. One can measure for ketones through the acetone in our bread, okay. So you can also buy a device um, which you can blow into, it's like a little breathalyzer. Okay? And you're going to blow into this device for 20 or 30 seconds and then that device is going to give you a reading okay now it's important to know the difference here is 
when we test for ketones through the blood with a blood indicator that measures what's called the BHB beta hydroxybutyrate that's what it's measuring for and that's going to tell us uh, what the state of our ketones is however with a breathalyzer you're testing acetone okay generally it's regarded that the two work hand in hand so whatever your acetone reading is is going to be very similar to whatever the reading is in BHB okay beta hydroxybutyrate so it's not as accurate as the pure blood sample but they believe that it is going to be very close to okay so that's the second option you have okay and again I'm not sure I think those devices are probably going in the vicinity of about $50 you know 35 euros or so um, and then you've got probably the more most cost effective the most cost effective being strips urine strips okay now I have recently bought a bottle which has got urine strips for both ketone and for blood sugar okay and um, I've paid for a hundred I paid 30 euros okay so that's quite expensive it's, it's uh, you know three euros per indicator now remember in the beginning you're probably going to go through quite a lot you may be testing yourself up to three times a day okay but bearing in mind once your body is into ketosis okay and you become a bit more accustomed to the way of eating and fueling your body you're not going to have to do all of this okay so it's up to you to decide on the investment you want to place on this <coughs> Um, every now and then you may actually have a, a, a day off okay? and you may decide to eat whatever you want to eat. That's okay, but bearing in mind if you load your body with carbohydrates, you're going to kick your body out of ketosis. And people can do that, but it takes a lot of discipline. Okay? Um, but it is possible, so you can make an event where let's say be it for Christmas or Thanksgiving or whatever these events, family events, that you can have, you can treat yourself okay, to a day like that. But just bearing in mind that you're going to first again going to have to burn all the carbohydrates out of your body to ensure your liver produces ketones to get back into ketosis. Okay, and there are ways that that can be done simply and in a short space of time but with a level of discomfort you know people who want to do that kind of thing generally go into a fast where they don't eat for 24 hours okay that's the quickest way to put your body into ketosis right burn off the calories that you currently got in the system and fast and just drink water and um, I recommend a very good chicken broth or chicken stock. So anyway, I've gone off the point a bit, yeah? But um, those are the two tests we want to do, guys. So those strips, as I say in the beginning, I think that's a good indicator. You will pee on these strips and the strip will tell you if it's beige, okay, you're not in a state of ketosis. If it starts going pink, you're slightly in a state of ketosis. If it goes into purple, you full on ketosis. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be using. Um, in the next day or two, I'm working on actually setting up a, a, a series of videos that's going to show you now the preparation phase. So I'm going to show you typically what I have been eating for breakfast. Okay, I'm not in ketosis at the moment. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to wean myself off those that uh, breakfast intake and I'm going to start adapting towards the things that we need to eat on a ketogenic diet so this is a full illustration okay with me as the guinea pig as I say is currently not in ketosis um, and I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step account of the process how I feel all of these sort of things okay so that I can alert you um, and also at some point I'm going to have to sort of try and disclose to you what kind of physical condition I'm in, okay, which I think is average to maybe just a bit above average. So 
As I say, not only is this an informative series of videos, this is a live representation of someone who's not in it. I've tried it for a period of two months in South Africa before I flew here. Um, I'm eating full on carbs like the French do, you know, with lots of croissants in the, in the morning. I mean, all of that is going to go out the door. And the reason, or part of the reason that I'm doing that is, number one, I'm on a bit of a tight budget, but number two, I want this to be as realistic as possible for you guys. Okay, so I'm going to be the guinea pig and say, right guys, that's how I'm eating currently. Um, and in this next coming week, that's how I'm going to phase out what I'm eating. And I'm going to, during that process, I'm going to start replenishing with a few additional products to lead me into um, this ketogenic lifestyle. And uh, so watch out for those videos. Um, I may be back. In fact, I'm sure I'll be back with the next two tests I recommend. Okay. And those tests are testing for vitamin D, okay, and um, which is, as you may or may not know, we get through sunlight, sun exposure, um, and the very next very important test, particularly for women, is the iron test, okay. Iron is used in, with protein as a building block, and as we know, protein or an excess of protein.